So this is the Cyberdata configuration parameters for the intercom. Uh, to get to here, um, there's no running software or, or a PC. It's just a, a single Cat5e cable back to a PoE switch. Um, type of the IP address into any web browser. And we're now faced with the config parameters. There are actually only a couple of pages that we need to concentrate on. Um, it's actually only device buttons and SIP. First of all, we look at the SIP settings. We're going to register the intercom to a SIP server, also known as an IP PBX. This is nothing more complicated than just putting the SIP service details into here. For this example, um, what you can do is use a hosted VoIP platform. A partner we use is nta.co.uk and they offer a hosted VoIP platform that works really well with the Cyberdata Intercom. When you're integrating or bundling the, the intercom with a hosted platform, you, you're truly offering a sort of remote controlled integrated secure entry solution. The intercom is accessed through its IP address and also the NTA VoIP platform is a web page controlled, you know, you just log in on the internet and, you know, from the, the comfort of your own home, you can form hunt groups you can direct the intercoms call do you want it going to an ip phone do you want it going to a mobile phone so that's all set up um you know through the internet just like the intercom itself okay so that's the sip config if we take a look at the device config this is where you would set your relay code you know, other intercoms say they may need like a, a special app on an iPhone or an Android. The Cyberdata Relay is triggered by DTMF signals. So, for example, if we set the activation code as 321, the intercom calls a mobile or an IP phone, the user presses 321, and the door, gate, or barrier opens. Also on this page, we can set the intercom's volume. Finally, if you look at the button config, for the single call button intercom, you would only need to match it up to an extension number on an IP phone. And then the call button, this is the keypad intercom. And here you can set speed dials, but the, the keypad intercom acts just like an IP telephone. You could dial multiple um, extension numbers within the enterprise who could answer the intercom's call.